What's good? It's the Hunter Hoffman, and today I'll show you how to update the service history of your BMW yourself. As all of you 45 subscribers know by heart, I changed the oil of the M2 myself recently. This however is not reflected in the service history of the car, but today that's going to change. Let's do it! Alright, so here are the tools you'll be needing. An ODB to Ethernet diagnostics cable, a laptop with an Ethernet port, and a BMW, preferably an M2 because, well, they're awesome. You will not be needing this. Alright, so as you can see, the ODB port is right above the hood release, and the cable just clicks in there. Alright, so this is the service history of the car. So in 2019, the engine oil and microfilter were replaced. In 2018, the running in service was done. And back in 2017, the pre-delivery inspection was done. So the purpose of the video today is to have the oil service I recently did included in the service history as well. So first up, we're going to open this free version of the BMW Service History Manager, of which I'll put a link in the description below. So right click in the window and click Add, and then enter the date of the first item of your service history. In my case, the pre-delivery inspection. Then we'll fill out the mileage of the car, and as I said before, it's a pre-delivery inspection in my case. Then we're going to type in that it's a BMW dealer who did the, um, the pre-delivery inspection with the accompanying workshop code. And click Add and OK. So that'll be my first item of the service history. So then we click Add again. Then we'll fill in the date of the, of the second item of my service history. The mileage. And the workshop ID of the BMW dealer. So in my case, this was a running in check service. Click add, click OK. And then on to the third one again. Add, date, mileage of the car, workshop ID, and in this case, I believe the engine oil was, was, um, was renewed. And they also changed out the microfilter. So hit add, then OK. And then we're coming to the final part of the service history. So once more, we hit add, then we fill out the date, being the 22nd day of May of this year. There we go. Fill out the mileage of the car. Obviously, this wasn't done by a BMW dealer, hence why I'm filling out independent. So the workshop ID on this one will be 00000. Then finally, we add a change in engine oil, then click Add, then OK, and there we have it. That's the full service history of this car. So now you want to go ahead and save this history file. I'm just saving it on my desktop here and naming it History Hunter Hoffman. All right, there we go. So now for the most exciting part, we're going to hit Write to Car, then hit Detect, and then hit Start. So let me show you what happens on the head unit when you press Start. So as you can see, the head unit shuts off, then starts back up again. It's basically doing a reset. So 
So now we're going to go ahead and check my car, then car status. Click service, and then service history. And there you go. The full service history is now included in the car. Here is our engine oil change. Happy days. Alright, so as you could have seen, those relatively easy. The oil change I did recently now reflects in the service history. So I guess that's a job well done. On to the next video, and on to the 50 subscribers! Thanks for watching, everyone!